An hour of breaking news here on Outnumbered, and it continues as we get in more materials that the judge has released in the Paul Pelosi attack in San Francisco at the home he shared with his wife, former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. And unlike when we first saw this video coming in, uh, it's not just surveillance video outside the home. Now we get to see inside the home and the attack exactly as it was about to happen and moves into motion with police trying to break it up and save Paul Pelosi's life. I'm going to give a little lead up this time. This is graphic and this is jarring. This has just been released. We will share it now. Hi. Uh, guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi. Drop the hammer. Um, nope. Hey, 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 hey. What is Pardon going on right now? I'm not getting an answer on call. Bro, oh, oh, oh. Ever 14 Everett's in backup, code 3. Code 3 backup at 260. You f***ing man! Unit code 3. You f***ing man! Wait for 14 now. F***ing Everett's in medics, code 3 as well. You got it? I'm sorry, 14 Everett's in medics, code 3. All right, we're trying to figure out not only what we see, but what we hear. Because you see a, a shoe lifted, a tennis shoe, that we think is of the suspect, David DePap. And he also is, so perhaps tasering was involved there. Um, but what we know is the lifting of the hammer, and you see that attack. One thing that stood out to me on the second viewing, I don't know if you guys saw this, Pelosi, He's tethered Chu DePap, but he almost goes for the wrist of DePap as if to try and prevent DePap from committing the act. So to me, that looked like to a certain extent it slowed down DePap's wind up and ultimate hit. And look, we don't know the medicals at this point in conjunction with the video, but pure speculation here. If that slowed down the force, and we've talked about how much force he was using trying to break in, that may have saved Pelosi's life. But what counters that is the fact that Paul indeed was pulling away. So as we know and we're taught in self-defense classes, what's counterintuitive is you lean into a punch. Yeah. You lean into a blow because that the, the, the force is absorbed before the, the brunt of it, right? Earlier, sooner. So we saw Paul jerk away there was that sort of that struggle it seemed we thought he was initially tethered whether he was holding him whether the zip ties were involved he, he yanks free pulls back and then after that horrific wind up that we saw to pap engaging him that's why i think the brunt the, the brunt of a full arc is what i'm trying to say because paul pelosi had pulled away and he was a big man also we saw really a brute force against what was also a tall but elderly gentleman um with a fragile skeleton just like all of us well and i think that's one of the things that we were all reacting to previously before the commercial molly was how big the this the suspect the pap was yeah and the clarity of the body cam video that was released <laughs> you know you see it just framed in the doorway mere seconds unfolding where it's clear the police are trying to untangle what exactly is going on here because the voices initially it's as if everyone's trying to downplay this situation where this weapon is in the middle of it all and then it unfolds so swiftly and as you mentioned Pelosi himself probably took actions that helped to save his own life. Mm. Mm. Kennedy. Oh, they're trying to de-escalate. You know, they're they're trying to assess and ask what happened calmly uh, in, instead of freaking the suspect out and having him burst into action even sooner. I mean, he, he had more mental clarity than I think uh, had been assigned to him when we were first hearing about this. But that's interesting. Also, looking at this, I still don't understand why they kept this 
from public view. Yes, it is disturbing, but all of these things would have helped to depoliticize the narrative here. And I think that's incredibly important. And it also, uh, it, it's informative for other people who hold high office that you have to protect yourself and your families better. You know, you, you have to know that there are crazy, evil people who intend to do great harm, unfortunately. I, I refuse to believe, and, and it's just hard to fathom, Kennedy, that with all of the national security risk documents and all the things that people in Congress read, that they don't already know that. Yeah. yeah. And the, the That's speed. That's incredibly sometimes, naive. Sometimes you, don't, sometimes you don't know it until you see it. Sometimes you don't know what is possible for one human being to do to someone you know and love until you see that happening before your eyes. All right, so Todd, fast. 10 seconds. I think Paul Pelosi deserves a lot of credit. We don't know what happened in the moments leading up to this, yeah. but it looks like he had de-escalated the situation up until that point, and that may have, in fact, saved his life. Well, we will wait to find out exactly what's in the other materials, those investigative materials that the judge also ordered released today. So much more. Stay with us. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.